Hi you guys, welcome to this week's vlog. So today is already Thursday. It has been really, really slow. I've been um, self-submitting on LA Casting, SF Casting, the new casting networks, and today I actually got a media request, which is a soft tape audition request from Kristen Beck in San Francisco, Chris, Kristen Beck Casting. So I thought I would bring you guys along for this week's vlog. Through that, I'm about to film it and I'll show you guys the email right now. I already read the email, but I'll show you guys what it looks like. And then when I'm submitting, I'll also show you that. And since it is the first Saturday of the month this week, I am going to show you my breakdown of my self tape auditions at the end of this video. So um, first, let's go take a look at that email that I just received from Chris and Beck Casting. Now we're at my computer and this is the email I received. I self-submitted to this around noon and then a couple hours later I got this new media request from SF Casting. So it didn't take very long. Like I mentioned, it is Kristen Beck Casting and this is for a commercial project. So it's a pretty simple self-tape, but this is what it would look like when you get a media request. I know this is going to be the first time for a lot of people doing it. So I thought I would do it here with you and if there's any issues I run into, maybe in the future future I can tell you how I resolve them but something that I noticed so when you click respond to you know your casting call your self tape audition request something I noticed is that you can no longer confirm which is a little strange because before in the um, casting networks before this you could choose to confirm reschedule or decline it and you can still decline it over here on around the middle left you can see that there is a section that says decline select this option to decline request you may also include a note when you are ready click send response response to send to casting so you can't respond that you are going to make a self tape but you can only um, decline that you're not going to do it so you can still except by not doing anything until you're ready to submit right so this is the page it took me to and i like how it's highlighted on the top right that it says due by june 4th 2021 6 p.m today is june 3rd and i'm going to try my best to edit it and send it over to them today i mean it's only five o'clock right now so i know i'm gonna have time today um and then the same instructions that were in the email are here again on the left it has the role name professional slash achiever and then they're open to the gender and for this one they do want a self-tape video and then the you know the traditional images or photos that they ask you to take so they want profiles my hands all of that the usual and then i can add a note um and once i have my self-tape audition because i haven't filmed it yet i'll attach it here and then i can attach the photos and then attach the videos here and then all of the details again of the casting call which is great because it'll remind me okay the audition date's due by tomorrow and then um, the callbacks the fittings all of that is all in one place which is really good for um, when you reply to something because in the past when they email you and say hey we want you to do a self tape um, audition here are the sides but then you're like oh shoot which one was it because obviously like today i submitted to i don't know like 20 30 different things between la and san francisco so it's nice to see it right here i'm like okay well i already know chris and Beck casting is in san francisco at least i know that that's where i would be working but um now let's go back into my bedroom and we can set up for the self-tape audition after we're done with that i will show you guys how I submit and see if I run into any issues, hopefully not. So right now I have my red backdrop on, but I also have blue and gray. I think I'm gonna do gray for this one, um, even though it's a commercial audition. I've been trying to do the blue one for commercial auditions, but the space is just like barely big enough and I don't wanna deal with having to put that big blue one up by myself. So I'm going to set that up right now and then get started. It should only take maybe 20 minutes to set up and then record those couple of lines. I should probably put on shoes and pants before I start. 
since I use my phone for my self tape auditions, I have to make a little bit of notes and um, I like to make notes of exactly how they want my slate to be, the, uh, the order they want me to say it and the photos, everything so that I can get them all done before I go and sit down and then I'm like, I have to film everything again or I have to do it differently. Since my framing is like this, I shoot my slate, my audition and the close up photo. And then once I switch the frame to the full body shot, then I do the other photos and the full body uh, shot. Okay, done with the audition, done with the slate, everything. Now let's go to the computer, upload these, edit them or edit them and then upload them onto casting networks. Hopefully it doesn't take forever. So after editing my video, I exported it to MP4 file and then I went back um, and I did the photos first and I just brought them in through the browser. And these are my photos. I have the close up smiling, the full body shot, and then the front and back of my hands. So four files total. You can show both of your hands at once and I am not taking out how long it takes to take out these photos because it's not that much, which is great. So they're almost done. Sorry, the cats are playing in the background. That's what that noise is. But these photos are almost done. You guys, you can actually upload photos easily on SF Casting now or sorry, casting networks now. Now I'm gonna do the video. So this is my self tape. This one um, is a video that's around a minute or so. And I actually edited it out um, just because it did take about three-ish minutes to upload. So I didn't wanna put you through that in this video but um, all of my files are uploaded and I'm gonna add a little note because I am turning this super early. I am letting them know I can retape it if they would like me to. And then here are all of my files. I'm gonna click send response. Yes, send response. And that's it. It's actually easy. I'm so glad that media request was easy to submit on Casting Networks. Hopefully it's like that every time, but as you saw, it's pretty easy to submit. I didn't run into any problems. I'll let you know if I end up getting cast in that in next week's vlog. But since it is the first Saturday of the month, well, today is Friday for me, but I'm uploading every week a weekly vlog about what I'm doing throughout the week acting wise. And then every first Saturday of the month, I am uh, sharing with you my audition submissions versus the ones I got cast in and where I have been submitting that month. And uh, so I'm gonna show that to you right now. This is my tracker and I have information about the date, what kind of self tape it was, where I got it from, if it was from my agents or social media or um, casting networks, cast talent, actors access, all of that. So um, let's look through this month. It did feel again, really slow. There's months that it feels like I'm doing more things and then months where it feels like I'm doing less things this month really really felt slow acting wise i don't think i had a single self-tape audition for um acting i just had a bunch of voiceovers and then i had a couple of direct bookings so let me show you what i got so in may i got six audition requests for my agents and they were all for voiceover jobs varying from video games to department stores to um, an athletics company, a tech company. So it was a little bit of everything this month. I did not book any of those voiceover auditions. I know I need to get more training in voiceover because I have booked voiceover in the past, just not recently. All of this year, I haven't booked anything voiceover related. So I'm just like, what am I doing wrong? Because I'm auditioning for it so much and I'm not booking any of it. So six of my auditions this month were from my agency, Marla Del Talent in San Francisco. And um, the rest of them were from self-submissions or um, direct booking. So people that I have worked with in the past asking me to work with them again. So I have been self-submitting this month or in May at uh, Casting Networks and I've been submitting to San Francisco, Sacramento and LA since I can work as a local in all of those places. And I have also been self-submitting in Cast It Talent, um, which most of the time they don't have sides, which is really confusing, but I just put my reel on there and hope for the best. I've been using it for a couple of months. I'll let you guys know how long I end up having that and if I ever book something from Cast It Talent. 
and um, I didn't get any self tape auditions requests from casted talent. On May 12th, I did another short film with the Academy of Art. So I've worked with them before lots and lots of times. The casting director there always sends me stuff to audition for them. But um, this time I worked with the same uh, team of uh, students who I worked with last time. So I did a short film in March with them as well. And this time I did a short film, but they switch, they sift around or they switch around the writers, directors, editors, everybody switches around, write their own things. And then, you know, it's a film from home. So I had a green screen, which was really cool. And I showed those, both of those shorts in previous vlogs, if you guys want to check them out, but that was a direct booking. They invited me to audition. Unfortunately, I didn't have time, but then the team, since they remembered me um, from my, when I worked with them, with them last time, they were like, hey, we would love to have you again. So that was really cool that they invited me to come over. And that was a paid um, short here, filming at home. And then the last one was another direct booking and it is, uh, that was May 20th and it was the a commercial that I filmed from home. So they either send me products or they give me information about the app or whatever. And then they do a briefing of what the commercial is going to be about and then I do it and send them the footage. So it's usually pretty easy. Usually it takes between one and two hours to complete, including the meetings and everything. But that's for me because I'm experienced, um, you know, doing all of these things. I know for sure that if it was somebody doing it for the first time, it would be a hot mess to try and figure everything out, like memorizing the lines or coming up with lines to say, because sometimes it's improv, figuring out what kind of light to have, the setup in your house. So I know if it was somebody who had never done any kind of, Thing like that in the past it would probably take them like five hours which I don't think would be worth it um, worth the money uh, but that is my recap for my self tape auditions and now I have something really exciting to tell you I'm going to be giving away some paper backdrops for your self tape auditions just like this one so 53 inch paper backdrops from Savage and this video is not sponsored but they are giving us these things for free so that's awesome I get to give it to you guys and uh, I'm going to be doing it July as well and August so June July August the first vlog of the month so the first Saturday of the month I'm going to be telling you about the giveaway and then all you have to do is make sure you're subscribed to my channel like my video and then leave me a comment about what I you know whatever I tell you about so this week I want to know what is the last movie or TV show that you watched because I need to watch more different tv shows and i want to get some recommendations from you guys but that's all you have to do and you do have to be in the u.s unfortunately for this one it is just the u.s because it's savages terms they they gave me the rules and i'm like okay i get to give people free stuff okay but hopefully in the future i'll be able to do more things where i can include everybody and you know everybody can submit but for this one it's just people in the u.s so like this video, leave me a comment. Thank you so much. And um, that's it. I'm excited. I will, this will be happening again the first Saturday of July and the first Saturday of August. And you can choose the color and everything. And it'll be a 53 inch seamless so you can use for self tape auditions. So make sure to leave a comment by June 15th. And then I will use a random comment generator to select the winner. And as long as that you are in the US, then they will ship it out to you. You'll choose a color and everything and I'll just need your email and I won't keep it for records or email lists or anything. But thank you so much for watching. And at the end of every video, I feature another channel. This is today's feature. If you would like to be featured on my next video, make sure you're subscribed like this video and leave me a comment about your channel if you want me to say something about your channel during my outro.